want to quickly apologize for uh, not being able to record this sooner. It's actually um, about 10 o'clock at night, or close to 10 o'clock at night UK time right now. I've had so many issues with actually getting uh, any sort of audio coming out of my PS4 right now. And yeah, I got like no support from Sony's tech support or anything like that. So yeah, that kind of sucked. But anyway, welcome to the gun show. Let's get in. Starting out with the Armin ESD, the rank 3 roll is the best roll because it comes with counterbalance and braced frame. Now, it comes with the LB Assault, which is actually a better scope than I actually thought it was. Um, I still prefer the LC range, but the LB Assault, really, really nice. Surrounded is a bit of a wasted perk on the Arminius, um, not really something I'd want to go with. If you want to hold on to the package to try and get something a little bit better, like counterbalance, braced frame, and say, hot swap or army of one or something then by all means feel free but uh, if you really want to pick up a pretty decent armini sd that will get you through the next next little while then uh, the rank 3 roll is the one for you omelon twinella sr4 scout rifle all the rolls are pretty mediocre this week um the rank 2 and 3 roll coming with replenish is quite a bit wasted uh, the rank 1 roll is probably the best roll out of the bunch but that's not saying much. You get life support and Zen moment, which is a nice perk combo. You get lightweight, which is probably the better of the bunch there compared to having casket mag. But unfortunately, the sights you get aren't really all that good either. So honestly, I would say try and hold on to this for a roll that may have something like triple tap or firefly. Okay guys, for the Hake Judith D. Hankin, the rank 1 and 2 roll are the ones you're going to be interested in here. Completely pass on the rank 3, doesn't really have all that good going for it. The rank 1 roll is the best range boosting roll because you get reinforced barrel, but this reduces your stability to the absolute zero point. You have literally two stability after putting reinforced barrel on. You also don't get the sure shot IS, you, do, you get the true sight at default. And then you can upgrade the steady hand if you so desire, but uh, stick with true sight if you're going to go with this gun. You get triple tap and spray and play, which is always a really nice combo to have in PvE and PvP. Uh, but the rank 2 roll comes with triple tap, outlaw, small bore for boosts to range, stability, and a little bit of lower magazine size. It'll reduce the mag size by one, I do believe. And this does come with the sure shot IS and starts with the true sight automatically. So this is the better roll in my own opinion but uh, as always it's entirely your own call I'm going with the rank 2 roll but either the rank 1 or 2 roll will serve you pretty well for the Hake Ludmilla D Pulse Rifle honestly take a pass on all the rolls this week the rank 3 roll if Hake Pulse Rifles get a stability boost and obviously a change to their recoil patterns then the rank 3 roll can be, well, can become one of the best rolls that you can get on this archetype of gun. You get reinforced barrel for a big boost to range, and it actually hits the range cap. And you get the LC ranged scope, so you would only need to put on LC ranged and then fitted stock, and you would actually still have pretty much close to the maximum range you can have on this archetype of pulse rifle. You get full auto and head seeker, and head seeker, because this weapon fires 4, in a burst, you can land one shot on the neck and three shots on the head. That's some extreme damage. This is one of the very few pulse rifles that can still two burst in the crucible under the right conditions. But uh, yeah, rank three, if Hake weapons do get a really strong boost, then this can become a very potent weapon. Okay guys, for the Tomar D sniper rifle, go with the rank one roll. It comes with unflinching and performance bonus. It also comes with the optional quick draw or braced frame. I personally recommend braced frame because the stability on the Tomar D is very, very low. For the field test weapons this week, guys, you have one crucible weapon and four test weapons. You have uh, two weeks. You have two rotations of arms day to edge out your gunsmith, and I recommend you start doing it now. And if you have already started doing that, I recommend you start picking up all of the PVE test weapons and holding on to them for when Rise of Iron drops. That way when you rank up your gunsmith package, you can get a very brand you can get a, a brand new foundry gun. For the test weapons next week, we have the Hake Zaranea D auto rifle, the Suros RE45 auto rifle, 
the Suros PDX-41 Pulse Rifle, the Suros PDX-45 Pulse Rifle, and finally the Hake Efe Ruidi Sniper Rifle. That's been your gun show, guys. I've been Chris Bachelor. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. Once again, I'm very sorry about the video going up late. And yeah, I'm going to be making it up to you guys by having a cheeky nightfall run with my warlock going up. Uh, should go up a couple hours after this video actually hits your sub boxes. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Peace.